<clears throat> okay, so CMake um, is what we use in class to create our C++ programs in a manner which we can run them. So if you go to the cmake.org website, um, we get the definition from um, the makers of CMake. So it's an open source. Uh, cross-platform um, tools to build that means get our source code um, check for syntax errors uh, for um, build errors um, compile it and then it allows us to test our so software and also package it into an executable format so I won't go into much other detail um, what I want to do is give a high level overview of how uh, we use CMake in our class and <clears throat> our class project so we have a uh, most of our projects consist of a um, main file main.cpp and then we have a um, some other file for example we may have uh, example one dot header and example two dot header dot cpp sorry And uh, <clears throat> these files work together uh, to create our program. <clears throat> we also have another file in our Visual Studio project. It's a uh, C make list the txt file this is lowercase okay <clears throat> this file is a configuration file so I'll go high level configures this files files so that It can create another set of con configuration files for a utility known as make and this utility is what facilitates building the C++ programs so again I won't <clears throat> I won't go into a hold on Okay, so this program, <clears throat> CMake, is a utility that gets our source code, um, compiles it, and links it together to create an executable, right? And it'll also uh, be able to install and deinstall programs. But in our case, for a class, uh, it uh, puts it together, compiles it, links <clears throat> files together, including, uh, well, not there will be lower including the standard library but I'm not going to show you that in this example so if we uh, continue with our diagram cross-platform why because make is not cross-platform so if we were to create make files for our programs in different operating systems like uh, Unix environments or Windows environments or Apple environments, Mac environments, we would have to create three sets of make files because <clears throat> if you create a make file in Unix, it's not going to work in Win or Apple. CMake 
takes care of that for us. So CMake produces the correct make files for each um, <coughs> operating system environment and it's guaranteed to work. That's why it's uh, cross-platform. So once those uh, CMake file, those make files are created, then they can be sent to the local make utility that exists in each operating system. In uh, Unix, it's make. If we're using Visual Studio like we are, Visual Studio 2017, then it's MS Build. And in Apple, it'll be Xcode Build. And then <clears throat> from here, um, binaries are created. So binary files, which are files that a machine can read. And finally, there's an in, in another step that gets our code and if there's any external libraries that need to be included, then that is done. And finally, we get an executable file for uh, our program. And that's a high level overview of uh, what CMake is. The next video will show you how we use uh, CMake in our Visual Studio projects.